What's going on everyone? I'm Katarina Contreras and I am hoping to be your new host for x -Hit. So please let me know how you like these videos, what kind of exercises you want, and any feedback in the comment section below. Mm -hmm. Today we are doing five stretches for a pre-leg day. So we're gonna do each exercise or each stretch mm -hmm. actually for one minute, but honestly you can do it for as long as you want. We're gonna do our first exercise, which is gonna be a hamstring into a squat. And this is all dynamic stretching. So we're gonna be moving, breathing, and talking through everything. All right, one minute on the clock. Let's do this. So you're gonna bend down. You're gonna really focus on the back of your legs, those hamstrings, and then you're gonna push into a squat. And if you want, you can use those elbows and push those knees out. Then you just straighten those legs back, stretch those hammies. And every time you move, of course, I want you to be focusing on breathing, breathing through the exercise, and try and go farther and deeper into the stretch every single time we move. Remember, take it slow, listen to your body. I do want you to push yourself a little bit, but we are not gonna injure ourselves during this stretch. And that's what stretching is about, making sure we're preventing injuries, breathing in through your nose, go ahead and go back down. You can also grab your ankles, pull your body into your knees, then drop back into that squat. We have about five seconds left. Mm -hmm. Give me one more hamstring stretch, breathing, and relax, kind of shake it out. Next exercise mm -hmm. is gonna be a classic pigeon. So remember, we're doing one minute for each exercise, but you do not need to do a minute. You can go longer, you can go shorter. We're gonna start with our right leg, one minute on the clock. All right, so what I want you to do um, is I want you to roll forward, how I'm rolling towards you, and then backwards. So we're really stretching that glute out. A lot of times um, I hear complaints about some sort of pain in the lower back, and it can be related to glute tightness. So I really want you to make sure you're stretching that out and moving. If you need to be higher up in the stretch, that's perfectly fine. Or you can also drop to your elbows and just keep breathing which I always forget to do. So always listen to your own breath. Breathe in through your nose, exhale through your mouth, and just nice, slow movements. Every time trying to drop it a little bit deeper into that stretch. I love just knowing what the exercises are, putting on some good music, and just going through them. We have about five seconds, almost there. And relax push yourself up and as you're getting out of each stretch go ahead and move nice and slow because sometimes that muscle can feel like it's stuck there all right we're gonna go into the left leg and one minute and moving it to the left to the right forward and back depending on how tight you are or how flexible you are you can move this foot forward a little bit more or you can keep it back biggest thing is listening to your body pushing yourself enough to really create that flexibility, but not so much that we create an injury. Ooh, I personally have that glute tightness, so this is my favorite, especially when you're in a yoga class and you're sitting here, breathing through it. We got just about 15 seconds left. Keep moving. I love dynamic stretching because you're not feeling like you're stuck in that position. You're having some sort of mobility through it. Five seconds left. Almost there. And slowly move out of that position. Next one is gonna be a hip opener. So you're gonna lay on your back. Um, I'm gonna show the right leg first. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it up. We have one minute on the clock. You're gonna roll it out and then you're gonna straighten that leg. So about 30 seconds in we're gonna switch the opposite direction we're really opening up those hip flexors anyone who's sitting on a desk all day or sitting down all day this is gonna feel so good really preparing you for any type of squat or lunge we're almost gonna rotate in less than five and let's rotate so you're gonna bring that knee out back in and slow it down out Remember, I'm going at my own pace, so if you need to go a little bit slower, feel free to go a little bit slower. Also, I'm using that arm or my hand to pull my knee up to give myself a little extra stretch. 
up top. One thing I didn't say is breathe. Almost there. Five seconds. We're gonna rotate in three. And we're gonna rotate it. Left leg up, one minute on the clock. We're gonna rotate it out and down. Keep breathing. Remember, listen to your body on how fast you're moving through each exercise, each stretch. All right, we're almost there. Keep breathing. We're gonna rotate in three, two, one. Go ahead and switch directions. We're gonna open up that hip. Woo! You also can hang out in that open position to really stretch out that hip flexor. Keep breathing. You can also push that knee in all the way to try and really get that extra stretch. 10 seconds, almost there. Keep breathing. In three, two, one. And we're gonna sit on up. We're gonna go right into a runner's lunge and hamstring stretch. Again, listen to your body. You can go as fast as I'm going or slower, quicker, whatever you need. Right leg forward, one minute on the clock. Let's do this. So you're gonna push forward in that runner's lunge and then you're gonna push back and stretch that right hamstring. And then this time when you go forward into that runner's lunge, you can have that left arm back, really opening up that hip flexor and push it back. Now try to go knee to forehead. One more time forward. Breathe, push that hip flexor forward and back. Try and keep that back nice and flat. Stretch that hammy out. And stretch forward, arm up. Breathe and push it back. Keep breathing, moving the whole time. All the way forward. Last five seconds. Three, two, and we are gonna switch. Left leg forward. All right, one minute on the clock. And let's do this runner's lunge. I don't like to put my arm up on the first one just to warm up that hip flexor. Stretch it back, Woo. Stretch it forward, give me that arm if you want. Stretch it back, focusing on that right hip flexor. Breathing, drop it back into that hammy stretch. Exhale. All right, give me that runner's lunge again. Arm all the way back, reaching. Still pushing those hips forward, pulling that arm back. Now going back into that hamstring stretch. Remember, hold it as long or as short as you need. Push yourself to slightly uncomfortable. This is the last one. And relax. All right, last exercise. I love my side lunges. So we're just gonna go side to side for one minute. Make sure all of your weight is in your heels. We have a tendency to go into our toes, so don't do that. Here we go, one minute on the clock. We're gonna lunge to the left, and then lunge to the right. To the left. You can go faster, you can go slower, whatever you need. You can drop all the way down into that heel, or you can stay up using those hands as we progress with our flexibility. Keep breathing through. We have about 30 seconds left. Really focusing on stretching those inner hamstrings, inner thighs. Keep walking. Really getting some spider vibes right here. I do feel like a spider. I know you feel like it. 15 seconds. We're almost there. walk yourself out of it and that is it it's just five simple stretches that you can do before a leg day 
And you know what? Thank you so much for joining us here. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel. And remember, comment below. How did you like this video? What do you want to see on this channel? What workouts? Everything. Because I'm here for you. I'm Katarina Couture, and I'll see you next time.